Hey YouTubers! Guess what? Kisa 60's back. Um, unfortunately we're not gonna be making the funny videos of me and my brother goofing off and dancing like we did a year and a half ago. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more interactive stuff, a lot more, you know, in your face, tell it wise type thing. And I'm gonna still give you updates and reviews on a little things if you've seen my MySpace I give a little reviews on animes and different type of things that are happening and it's going to involve with the anime nation and anything Japanese culture but the formalize of this video is for a vlog I'm basically going to explain some situations and basically give you a quick update of my life I'm no longer in high school I'm currently jobless, sadly enough. I'm still a bisexual. All the way. Um, I no longer have a boyfriend, sadly enough, after a year and a half. No longer together. And I just had some really disrespectful things happen to me in the past, occur to me in the past 30 days. And the reason why I had to put, m mention the whole ex no longer with a guy thing is because it's dealing with him and his new girl. Well, his new toy. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's start off. He's known her since the beginning of the summer and they've been doing each other since the first day. And I'm sorry, I don't care who you are, but you're not going to get love from sex after the first day. You're purely off of a whole lust trip here but she thinks she's in love and she's stupid about it and she's very idiotic no offense to her but I'm sorry people who know her they would know that she's a stupid slut I am really calm about a lot of things she's done a lot of disrespectful things and for one I really don't think it's a good thing first of all you don't come to my house uninvited this is me becoming black because I'm, I'm the, probably the whitest girl you probably will meet who's black. But, first of all, you don't come to my house uninvited and then don't say hi to me. I try to be calm. I bit my tongue to the point that it was blood gushing into my mouth. I'm sorry. I don't care. You could have stayed in the car, you little flimsy hoe. Okay? Okay. Second off, first part two. That night, she ends up sending me a message on MySpace, you know, the popular social site that everybody's used, along with Facebook and everything else. You don't send me a message and say, oh, is there any way that you can get someone else to fix your car? Backstory. My ex-boyfriend was supposed to fix my car way before we broke up, and this trick has basically got down his throat about it, so he was trying to make her happy because, you know, he still needs to get some vagina or the monkey or different words you want to use for it um she was gonna give it to you regardless sweetheart because that's just the person she is that's the reputation high school put on her some of this thing she's been doing is very high school drama-ish and it's kind of pointless she's been kind of you know rubbing it in my face ever since he said I'm no longer gonna fix your car she basically blatantly told out lies to him and he believed her go figure but then he thought about it and he's like I'm gonna trust you more than I'm gonna trust her because I was with you longer bitch you've been with him 30 days I was with him a year and a half I think I have more click than you do ah uh, another thing once a slut always a slut just like a leopard never changes they spot she's still the same exact way regardless or not of what goes on in her life and what changes and what goes on still the same type of person but if that ever happened to you and situations with your ex and shit like that I, I just don't even know what to do like I want to punch her but I'm still trying to be nice and try to bite her tongue because the fact of being he still talks to me when she doesn't know about it because you know what he trusts me more than he trusts her he's like he can't even trust her when he goes off to the when he goes off to the army that says a lot sweetheart uh, get over yourself he doesn't like you he said I love you to you because he was thinking of me <gasps> mm. But, 
Long story short, just so many levels of disrespect coming from this girl, and I really want to choke her and I really want to hurt her, but I'm being nice because the black side of me wants to get to her. But I would like to know if any of y'all had any disrespect stories that you would like to tell me about that deals with anybody in your family, friends, or possibly exes that kind of deals with situations like this that you probably wanted to choke a bitch. But just stay calm about your lives, everyone. Bye-bye. Until next time.